Welt. Once upon a time, there were two friends named Hari and Ravi. They both lived in same street. Hari is very rich. He has all kinds of wealth with him. But what is the use? He couldn't sleep well even for a single night. On the other hand, Ravi is so poor, but he used to sleep peacefully. He widely opened his windows and dozed off at the cool breeze. Hari used to feel jealous at the happy nap of Ravi. He understood that Ravi is able to sleep as he has no wealth to disturb his mind. So he thought of an idea to spoil the sleep of Ravi. One day he took sack full of gold coins and went to Ravi. I am really sad to look at your poverty. After all, you are my friend. So I wish to help you with some amount. Take this gold and get rid of your poverty. Said Hari and placed a sack of gold coins in Ravi's hand. Ravi felt happy at the sight of gold coins. He offered his gratitude to his friend. He took the sack to his home and hid it under his mattress. But he couldn't sleep that night. He had to shut all the doors and windows tightly with the fear of thieves. Ravi was restless. At one hand, he was happy that he is now a wealthy person. On the other hand, he feared that someone could steal his wealthy away. He could not sleep even for a single second that night. The very next day, Ravi went to Hari and said, My friend, I have understood the reason for which you have given me the money. Please take away your gold. I have something that's more precious than these coins. I can't forgo my peace for your money. Saying so, Ravi returned the money and went back to his home. He has a nice sleep that day. A wolf and seven baby goats. Once upon a time, there lived a goat. One day the goat had to leave for the town. So she called her children and said, Look my dear children, I have to leave for the town now. You should be careful till I come back. Be cautious about the wolf near that tree. She is waiting for the time to eat you away. Don't open the door. Okay, mother. But how would we know that the wolf has knocked the door? Ask the kids. Very simple. The wolf has a hoarse voice and its hoofs would be black. She gave few precautions to the children and started for the town. The wolf was of course waiting for the mother goat to leave her house. She immediately rushed to the house and knocked the door. Kids, I am back home. Open the door quickly, said the wolf. Nah, your voice is so rough. You can't be my mother. You seem to be that bad wolf. Go away. Go from here. The wolf did expect such reply from baby goats. So she wandered for a while and came back to Goat's house. This time she softened her voice. Kids, I am back home. It's really cold outside. Please open the door quickly. And she knocked the door. 
The baby goats heard the voice and thought that her mother has come back. As they were about to open the door, they saw black claws of wolves. No, your legs are black. Our mother legs would be white. You're probably that cunning wolf. Get away from here, said the baby goats and they didn't open the door. The wolf got angry as her tricks didn't work. This time she went and rubbed some limestone on her legs. She reached the goat's house and said in the most pleasing tone, Kids, I am back home. I have brought a lot of gifts for you. Open the door quickly. The poor goats has this time believed that it was really her mother who knocked the door. And they opened the door. But alas, it was the wolf standing before them. The hungry wolf entered their home and ate all the goats. She then went to the nearby lake and slept away. The next day the mother goat came back. And what did she see? All her babies were missing. She understood that the wolf might have eaten her babies away. Mother goat began to search for that evil wolf. She found the dozing wolf nearby the lake. Mother goat could feel her babies inside the wolf's tummy. She slowly reached the sleeping wolf and said, Children, can you hear me? Come slowly out of wolf's mouth. As the baby goats heard the mother's voice, they slowly came out of the dozing wolf. The mother goat took her babies back to her house. She cautioned her kids that thereafter they should be more careful. Meanwhile, the wolf woke up and guess what? Her belly is empty. The Hare and the Tortoise There once was a speedy hare who bragged about how fast he could run. Tired of hearing him, post the tortoise, challenge him to race. All animals in the forest gathered to watch. The hare ran down the road for a while and then paused to rest. He looked back at the tortoise and cried out. How do you expect to win this race when you are walking along at your slow, slow pace? The hare stretched himself out alongside road and fell asleep, thinking there is plenty of time to relax. The tortoise walked and walked, he never stopped until he came to the finish line. Animals who were watching cheered so loudly for tortoise that they woke up the hare. The hare stretched and began to run again. But it was too late. Tortoise had already crossed the finish line. Moral of the story. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> The Lion and the Mouse Once when a lion, the king of the jungle, was asleep. A little mouse began running up and down on him. 
This soon awakened the lion, who placed his huge paw on the mouse and opened his big jaws to swallow him. Pardon, O oh king, cried the little mouse. Forgive me this time. Forgive me. I shall never repeat it. I shall never forget your kindness. And who knows, I may be able to do you a good turn one of these days. The lion was tickled by the idea of the mouse being able to help him that he lifted his paw and let him go. Sometime later, a few hunters captured the lion and tied him to a tree. After that, they went in search of a vegan to take him to the zoo. Just then, the little mouse happened to pass by. On seeing the lion's plight, he ran up to him and gnawed away the ropes that bound him. The king of the jungle, was I not right? said the little mouse, very happy to help the lion. Moral of the story Small act of kindness will be rewarded greatly. Thirsty Crow On a hot day, a thirsty crow fell all over the fields looking for water for a long time. She should not find any. She felt very weak, almost giving up hope. Suddenly, she saw a water jug below her. She flew straight down to see if there was any water inside. Yes, she could see some water inside the jug. The crow tried to push her head into the jug. Sadly, she found that the neck of the jug was too narrow. The crow thought hard for a while. Then looking around her, she saw some pebbles. She suddenly had a good idea. She started picking up pebbles one by one, dropping each into the jug. As more and more pebbles filled the jug, the water level kept rising. Soon it was high enough for the crow to drink. Her plan had worked. If you try hard enough, you may soon find the answer to your problem. The Hungry Fox Who Caught in the Tree Trunk Once upon a time, there was a hungry fox that was looking for something to eat. He was very hungry. No matter how hard he tried, the fox could not find food. Finally, he went to the edge of the forest and searched there for food. Suddenly, he caught sight of a big tree with a hole in it. Inside the hole, there was a package. The hungry fox immediately thought that there might be food inside and became very happy. He jumped into the hole. When he opened the package, he saw slices of bread, meat and fruit in it. An old woodcutter had placed the food in the tree trunk before he began to cut down the trees in the forest. The fox happily began to eat and he finished eating. He felt thirsty and decided to leave the hole and drink some water from nearby spring. However, no matter how hard he tried, he could not get out of the hole. Do you know why? Yes, the fox had eaten so much food that he became too big to fit through the hole. The fox was very sad and upset. He told himself, I wish I thought a little before jumping into the hole. Yes, children, this is the result of doing something without thinking about it first. Once upon a time in a forest, 
there lived a jackal called Gumaya. It is very hungry for days and doesn't get food to eat. The sun is bright and a jackal is walking slowly. The jackal is hungry and is drooling. Oh, food! I want food! It has been days! I want food! Just then, he sees a rabbit. Rabbit is munching on carrots. It has no idea that jackal is eyeing it. A rabbit! Yummy! It can be my meal! I have to deal with it carefully. Jackal bends and starts walking slowly without making any noise and crawls its way towards the rabbit. It quickly hides behind a shrub right next to the rabbit. Rabbit, which hears a noise, turns around to see where the noise came from. Huh? What was that? Where did that noise come from? Rabbit gets up and Jackal comes out of the shrub and stands right behind the rabbit folding its whole body and hiding from rabbit's vision. Rabbit looks to right and jackal moves to left. Rabbit looks to left and jackal hides to right. Rabbit gets a doubt and turns around. The jackal tries to grab rabbit but rabbit puts its carrot vertically inside the jackal's mouth making it difficult for the jackal to close its mouth. It struggles and in the meantime rabbit vanishes. The jackal closes his mouth with great difficulty and carrot breaks into two pieces and falls out of his mouth. The jackal, feeling even more weak, is walking slowly somewhere. It looks like a war area. There are weapons here and there. And while he was searching for food, he reaches an empty ground where a great war happened once. Gumaya, of course, did not know anything about war. So he starts looking around for food there. There are so many things here, but not one thing I can eat. He chews on a leather belt. Yuck! Too, too! What on earth is this? Disgusting! Chee! Too! He walks a little more and not being able to walk anymore, it crashes with all four legs spreading all four directions on the ground and immediately drifts off to sleep. It is jarred awake by a dam dam sound. Huh? What is that? Where did that sound came from? What? Huh? Dam dam sounds and jackal runs and runs and hides under a shrub. Slowly the shrub moves aside and jackal's head comes out. Huh? Hmm. Feeling better that there is no weird sound, he came out feeling confident. He stretches his body, looks left and right and starts sniffing. I can smell food. Yummy food. He sniffs and sniffs and reaches the drum. He sniffs doubtfully. He slides closer and sniffs again. He feels safe and jumps on it. Dum dum! The drum makes the sound. Monster! Monster! Sound making monster! He runs far and hides behind a tree. He slowly comes out of the tree and looks at the drum. It is peacefully as now. Gumaya slowly walks towards the drum. Who are you? 
you? What are you doing in my jungle? The drum is silent. If you don't answer, I will attack you. Drum is silent. Angry, he jumps on the drum and dum dum, it makes sound. Jackal jumps off. He is about to run but he stops and turns around. He goes close to it. Hits the drum with its paw. Dum! It hits once again. Dum! Hey, it is making sound only something strikes it. Ha ha ha! He jumps on it and starts beating the drum with all its paws and suddenly the drum shakes and moves and with it the jackal. The drum falls and with it the jackal. Jackal has stars on his head. He shakes his head and suddenly under the drum is food. On a plate there is a meat, rice and all kinds of food. Yummy! He drools and eats and freeze. Only if you are brave enough you will find what you want. Once upon a time in a jungle there lived a lion and he had a jackal. The lion and the jackal are not making any noise. The jackal slowly moves. An elephant picking grass and chewing unaware of the two animals are waiting to catch him. It makes a noise. How long should we wait? Don't talk. You will scare the elephant. The elephant sees them and starts running. The lion runs behind the elephant and the jackal runs behind the lion. The elephant is running, shaking the ground itself. Oi! What is this? My friend, the earth is shaking. The lion is not listening to the jackal. He is running behind the elephant, crossing trees and jumping over small shrubs. The elephant, while running, screams in fear. It screams, running faster and faster. The lion notices a giant rock to the side of the path and he jumps on it. Swinging in the air, flipping over the elephant lands right in front of it. The elephant stops in fear and stares at the lion. Attack him my friend! The lion jumps on the elephant and the elephant budges and the lion crashes on the ground breaking its bones. Ouch! My back! Oh, my legs! Oh God! The elephant is walking towards the lion who is not able to move. It is now the turn of the lion to get scared. The lion is shivering with fear. The elephant comes and lifts its leg to crush the lion when... Oh mighty elephant! Kindly forgive my friend. He underestimated your power. Forgive him. He will never trouble you ever again. Looking at the fake tears of the jackal, the elephant melts and nods his head and walks away trumpeting. The lion is in the same spot as he was in the morning. He is moaning in pain. The jackal who is sleeping right next to him is getting irritated with disturbance. Ah! Ah! Ouch! My back! Stop screaming like this my friend. You will scare the prince away. 
It has been so long since we did not eat anything. Please go and hunt. Hunt? In my state? Impossible. If I can hunt, why would I need your help? The jackal observes at the wounded lion. It looks like he cannot move. He rubs his tummy and he can hear sounds from his stomach. His mouth becomes dry. He looks around. We see a donkey. He is lanky and dull. The jackal gets an idea. I got an idea. Let me lure that lanky donkey towards you and you kill it. Okay? The lion smiles evilly and laughs. The jackal says shh and the lion becomes quiet. The area in which the donkey is standing is all dry with no good green grass or plants. Poor donkey is chewing on the dried grass. Jackal reaches the donkey and makes a disgusting face. Yuck! Who eats dried grass? What to do my friend? I ran away from my evil master. Now I don't know where to eat, where to find food. You are so lucky. There is lot of green. Just a little ahead. Come, I will guide you. The donkey can immediately see all green grass and leaves and fruits and starts drooling. The donkey starts following the jackal. The jackal can imagine eating the donkey meat and is drooling. They walk and reach the lion and the lion grabs him. The donkey tries to run and screams for help. Oh my friend! Save me! Save me! And suddenly from the cloud the donkey runs away and the jackal sees the donkey running away and growls. You fool! What have you done? The lion makes a sad face. The jackal with an angry growl runs behind the donkey. The donkey is running, panting and in fear. The jackal stops him. Why are you running away? Did you not see? The female donkey wants to marry you. That was a donkey? I thought it was a... Forget all that. Let us go back. Your beautiful bride is waiting for you. The donkey walks like a big hero with his chest blotted. He is whistling and walking like a hero. The lion is hiding behind a tree and just as the donkey crosses the tree behind which the lion is hiding, he pounces on the donkey. The jackal is excited, drooling and feeling all excited. When the dust settles, he goes to the donkey. The donkey lay dead on the ground and lion is happy with himself. The jackal now gets another plan. Wait, wait! Go wash yourself first in that pond and then we can enjoy the meal together. The lion nods at his friend's advice and proceeds to the pond. The jackal grabs the entire meat with his mouth and runs from there. With my intelligence, I don't need this stupid. Enjoy lion. I can find my own food. <laughs> The jackal runs and runs into the wild till he is not seen. Never trust someone with evil thoughts.